This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3 Intro to Programming, Lesson 9, Looping in Random Numbers, Part 11. Let's see what we're doing. Add C stars. Add C stars. And now we're ready to add C stars to our image by writing Draw All C Stars. Recall that we've already written loops to draw much more complex stars. Yeah, let's see what we got. But ah. Do this. Read the draw all C star function to know how it works and what parameters it accepts. First, update draw all C stars to use a for loop. All right. Draw C star has a portion of code that uses a longer sequence of rep repetitious single commands. Find the pattern and wrap a loop around it so that the repetition is done with a loop rather than many lines of declarative function calls. Wow, that sounds like a lot of lingo, but we can handle it. All right. So first update draw C star to use a for loop. All right. So now we need to find draw C star. Remember, functions do not run on their own. You must call them. And so draw, uh, draw all C stars only runs when the code gets to here. The computer sees these functions, but doesn't run the code inside until it sees this type of stuff. Draw background. Seagrass C stars. Once it sees this, it's going to look for the function. Uh, do, 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 do. All bubbles, all C beams, background, C stars. Oh, nope, I missed it. Draw all C stars. It drops down and runs this code. So it would move the turtle to a random position. Now it calls draw C star. And its parameter, its argument that it's going to use is between 10 and 30. So let's just say it's 17 this time. The code, the computer then looks in the code for draw C star function, and it's going to run that draw C star, which is here. Yep. And for size, it now knows, oh, yeah, what was that number? Random number. OK, it was 17 this time. Size is 17. And so when it gets to here, move forward, it knows move forward 17 pixels, 17, 17, 17. They want us to use a loop to eliminate redundancy, right? So repeat repetition is done with a loop rather than many lines of declarative function calls that's a fancy way of saying this stuff right yeah instead of using these lines of move forward turn right because they're all the same let's use a function call uh, a loop because these move forwards turn right, they're calling them declarative function calls because move forward and turn right are technically functions. We just don't see their code. So how many times do we run this code? Once move forward, turn right. Twice move forward, turn right. Three times move forward, turn right. Four times move forward, turn right. And five times. So let's highlight all of that. Goodbye. And in our loop, which I just lost. We want to change this to a five. I is going to start at zero and it runs through once. Well, let's test. There's a, yep. So I starts at zero and it runs through once, draws a side, hits the bottom, goes back to the top. I plus plus means plus one. So now I is one. So that would be our second time drawing a side when I is one. Now I is two, and we're going through for our third time, because remember, we started at zero. Now I is four, or now I is three, and we're going through for our fourth time. Now I is four, and we're going through our fifth time, because we drew one side at zero. Now I would be five, and it stops and runs the rest of the code beneath it. All right, so we got that part. Uh, yep. Second, add a loop to draw all stars to place the commands already inside. This way, your code will move the turtle randomly around the bottle pixels of the image. Draw five C stars from... Okay. So now we're going to use a loop to repeat the asking the computer to draw the C stars. Put that in there. We're going to move this down here. Okay. And now, at least, draw five C stars. Five. And it's already set to be randomly between 10 and 30. So now our code's going to loop around and draw five of these. But uh Pretty. Awesome. All right, let's uh keep going. And we'll remember what I needed to add was this for loop here. 
And then down here, I needed to get rid of this re repetitive function calls, as they worded it. Here, right? Draw all C stars. I got rid of the five of these, and I'm using a loop instead. Awesome. Let's keep going. 